uh, we will be reviewing first uh, what we have learned in the previous lesson through a game. Last lesson was important because it was the end of the, the, the series on the moral law. Now, we finished the commandments with the ninth, the ninth and the tenth commandments. And uh, we proceed today with a different field. But before I introduce that, let's first uh, make sure we understood what we have heard last time. So the game consists in trying to guess some phrases. They are there in the puzzle. And you will have to guess it using one of the clues. It's like fill in the blanks. My name is blank. And then the letters are there. It's in the game, we twisted what we call the Wheel of Fortune. If you are familiar with it, I hope tonight it won't be a, a wheel of torture. I encourage everyone to, to join this game because there are prizes. Uh, we have contestants, but for everyone, try to respond to the puzzles as well. If you solve it, um, you have to write it down on a piece of paper or on your laptop. Take a photo of what you did that you participate in this game and you will win a prize immediately. Just submit your photo to one of the organizers. So, there in your screens, you have the Wheel of um, Fortune. Okay, she gets puzzle 17. Puzzle number 17 that is worth 15 points. Delectatio Morosa, Desiderium, and Gaudium. Are classifications of blank. I repeat, Delectatio Morosa, Desiderium, and Gaudium are classifications of blank. This is for 15 points. Do you would like to answer without the uh, asking for letters? No, no, you want to ask for letters, no? Yeah. Okay, timer starts now. Is there a letter you have to ask? I. Internal sins. Oh, fantastic. 15 points. Congratulations. It was easy. Huh? She studied a lot. <laughs> very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay. How many points do you like? Any. Okay. So you got puzzle number 13 for 5 points. Okay. This is the clue. Envy is... The fe this feeling aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck. I repeat, envy is this feeling aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck. Day, you want to solve it? Okay. Sadness. Wow. Wow, very good. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's give her uh, times two. Very good. This is uh, 10 points per day. Okay. Let's continue now with the game. Contestant number four, a representative from NBC, who will go and step forward for the, the NBC nervous but charming team. Okay, you got puzzle 18, which is for 17 points. To overcome scrupulosity, one should seek blank. Do you want to answer it without uh, asking letters? Three? A, a spiritual direction. Ang galing. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Very good, very good. Okay, uh, 17 times 2, 34 points for Abby. <laughs> okay, you have the 9 points. Puzzle number 4. Obsession of one's past sins and continuously thinking about them, forgetting about the love of God or His mercy is called blank. Okay, obsession of one's past sins and continuously thinking about them Forgetting about the love of God or His mercy is called blank. Answer? Scrupulosity. Very good. Very good. Very good. It's an obsession. Very good. Okay. Give the points to Rachel. Nine points for Rachel. Okay. Let's continue the spin. What what number do you like? Any number. Any number. So, okay. Just in puzzle number three for 13 points. Okay. 13 points for day. Let's go to puzzle number three. The clue is, in the scriptures, which letter of St. Paul lists envy as a sin? In the scriptures, which letter of St. Paul lists envy as a sin? You have an answer? Three, 
Is there a letter? Two. Okay, okay, go. One minute. One minute, huh? There a letter? Okay, let's give her the points. You answered it correctly. Congratulations, Day. You have 26 points. It's times two because he didn't ask for any letter. Let's continue to the fourth contestant from NBC. Okay, puzzle number eight for three points. Okay, one of the ways by which we can overcome internal sins is through blank. One of the ways by which we can overcome internal sins is through blank. If the answer is, let's, let's solve it. Through sincerity. Okay, Holy Communion. Okay. Temptations are not sin sinful unless we... Three. Consent. Galing. Okay, fantastic. Galing ni Day. Okay. Okay. Uh, puzzle number 19 for seven points. To overcome the tendency to avarice, one can practice what virtue? To overcome the tendency to avarice, one can practice what virtue? Letter T. Letter T. Very good. Uh, letter N. Letter E. Timer. <laughs> I mean, it's 30 seconds. Okay. Letter E. 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 Okay, 15 points, puzzle number 15. Okay, listen. To keep our hearts pure, we need to guard blank. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Answer? Um, I'll ask for the letter. Oh, one minute. You have letter E. Okay, um, external senses. Galing. Congratulations. You got 15 points. Okay, for nine, puzzle number nine for five points. Okay, puzzle number nine goes like this. Desire to amass earthly goods without limit. Avarice. Okay, okay. she got it. Ni na kailan ng letter, five points for the, uh, ten points times two. For one point, puzzle number two. The evil of sin is not primarily in the physical reality of the action but in the blank of the sinner it's in the heart it's okay heart of fantastic oh, one, uh, two points two points give her two points uh nbc okay now let's continue the game with you dear viewer First, integral part of temperance that protects one's intimacy for seven points. If ever the time finishes and you haven't thought of the word, just pause this video. The answer is modesty, a virtue related to purity in heart. Second, it's the 10th commandment, you shall not covet thy neighbor's goods, corresponds to this beatitude for two points. The answer is poor in spirit. Next, one of the ways by which we can overcome internal sins is through blank for three points. It is actually a source of grace. The 
The answer is confession. Next, the ninth commandment, you shall not covet thy neighbor's wife, corresponds to this beatitude for two points. The answer is pure in heart. Next, the rebellion of the flesh against the spirit as a consequence of original sin is called blank. This is worth 9 points. The answer is concupiscence. Next, it is one way by which we can struggle positively against envy. This is worth 7 points. The answer is gratefulness. Next, Internal sins have these Latin terms, delectatio morosa, gaudium, and blank. This is for three points. The answer is desiderium. Next, one way by which we can keep our hearts pure is struggle for blank. This is worth 17 points. The correct answer is purity in intention. Congratulations! Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the game.